stay outside. Yeah, we had a little bit of smoke from those fires, the Arizona fires drifting into the area, but uh, we got a little wind mixing in, so it did calm down. Not as bad as we had last yeah. year. That was intense. Let's talk about the eclipse. That's what everyone's talking about, thinking about for tomorrow. We're going to have light wind around the time it starts. We'll be in the upper 70s, so fairly warm. Partly cloudy skies. That's going to be the biggest issue. That the clouds may obscure the eclipse a little bit. It starts at 6:28 uh, p.m. Excuse me, and then we'll have the moon pulling in over. It will peak at around 7:36 tomorrow night, and then finally ending uh, shortly after that. 8:08 is when the sun does set. So we're going to keep an eye out on these clouds because they could cause us some problems. A couple of thunderstorms to tell you about. We have one in far northeastern. Uh, New Mexico in Union County. That is a severe thunderstorm warning until 6:15 p.m., and uh, we're seeing some pretty big hail with that storm. So please keep that in mind if you're in the region. It's mainly in a rural part of the state. The rest of us looking very, very nice. Clear skies out there for just about everyone. But we're going to start to see those clouds moving in, and that could cause trouble for the eclipse. Windy conditions. Uh, as we get going into tomorrow, as a cold front does pull in, not a whole lot of wind tomorrow in Albuquerque. Be a little breezy as we start the morning, but uh, not as bad as we have in a couple past days. Some storms for tomorrow. We got moisture to work with behind this front, mainly in the eastern side of New Mexico. A lot of these could be dry. We're not looking for a lot of rain or severe weather with these storms. That'll be the same story as we get into Monday, still focusing on this area. We could have some storms in central New Mexico as well. But then as we start the week, we're really going to crank up the heat even here in Albuquerque. So expect very, very hot temperatures for Tuesday and beyond. And then the system pulls in for Tuesday into Thursday. Very, very windy conditions as we get going into the middle and end of the week. And that will mean high fire danger. So we'll have to definitely keep that in mind. Let's take a look at our storm tracks. 12 p.m. for tomorrow. We start to see those storms pop up. And you, you can see very, very isolated. This is 5 p.m. And we do have that cloud cover in parts of central New Mexico, western New Mexico. So that is what I'm talking about as far as the clouds obscuring the eclipse. So it's not going to be a gr perfect setup, a good setup, but uh, absolutely not clear skies to deal with. So unfortunately, as we get into Monday afternoon, we're going to see another, another round of storms there on the eastern side of the state. But nothing too much to worry about. And by Tuesday, we start to dry out. Currently in the metro, 81 degrees. Temperatures around the state. It's hot in southeast New Mexico. It's going to stay that way for the next few days as well. Let's do numbers. Southern Colorado, mostly sunny and a nice day out there. We'll be in the fifth 70s, excuse me, and then get up to 75 by Tuesday and then dip back down to the upper 60s for the rest of the week. In the four corners, sunshine, mild out there, 81 degrees in Grants, 89 for Monday in Farmington, pretty warm. But then we'll start to cool down toward the end of the week with plenty of sunshine. Don't look for any rain showers in the northwest. West for this week. Sunny and breezy in the southwest. A very, very slight chance for a storm in Silver City for Monday. Then we're going to see temperatures start to climb, but then they'll slowly drop back down to the low 80s by the end of the week. In southeast New Mexico, 83 in Roswell, and then 95 on Tuesday. So that heat is sticking around definitely almost 100 degrees by the time we get to Wednesday. Could see a spot storm tomorrow afternoon, even Monday. In the northeast, better chances for storms here in the afternoon. Not widespread, very isolated in nature, shouldn't cause a lot of problems, but keep your eye out. Could have some lightning with these storms and a gusty winds. That'll be the main threat as we get into the northern mountains. Spot storm possible as well for tomorrow and then Monday, and we'll even hang on to them for Tuesday. But really, if we're going to see it, it'll be Sunday, Monday would be the best time frame. Temperatures will start to climb in Santa Fe as well, getting to 81 by Tuesday. In the East Mountains, partly cloudy, spot storm is out of the question. 85 degrees in Tejeras, 83 in Sandia Park. And right here in the metro, we're looking at temperatures in the low 80s. A little bit warmer, though. Some wind out there, nothing too bad. And watch what happens to our 70 forecast, getting to 90 degrees by the middle of the week. So that's the hot weather I was telling you about. We may even get up to 91, 92. It's not the hundreds, but it is definitely warm. So hopefully the clouds will behave themselves for tomorrow, but there's a chance that they could uh, limit what you're going to see with the eclipse. So we'll okay. keep an eye on it and keep you posted. All right. Thank you, Ian. Beautiful day for some baseball, some soft.